Taylor Ham, 24-7 Sports here at the Dallas Nike Combine visiting with four-star Temple defensive end Taquan Graham. Uh, checked in 6'3", 251, ran a 4'7", 40. Um, about what you expected or, you know, kind of working to get a little bit better in those areas or what? We're working to get a little better. I thought I need to save off a lot, a little more time off of that, dropping down on 4'6". But it just comes with time and working out and stuff, working with technique. You're already one of the top guys uh, in this region, man. Any guys that you were looking forward to going up against today? Uh, whoever's here. Yeah. Just uh, kind of stack them up in front of you. Yes, yeah, there you go. Uh, can you kind of talk about where you're at with your recruitment, man? A lot of schools coming in this spring, extending offers. Uh, you've taken a few visits. Where are you at with everything? Well, I'm really undecided right now. Offers just keep coming in. Just had to reevaluate and talk with my family about it. Uh, I'm probably going to have to push back my decision date because it's really jumping off right now. And I just want to take the time, take the time to make a, a sound decision. And I just think I should wait a little bit longer. Yeah, you know, what were you thinking about? Doing something this spring? Yeah, this well, around the summertime. Gotcha. Now, when do you kind of see the timeline extend to? Probably like the end of summertime or near the start of school. What are some schools that you haven't had a chance to visit that you need to go see before you can kind of start narrowing things down? Pro probably A and M, U of H, like stuff in that I can do unofficials with. Yeah. Then I probably branch out to like some of the Oklahoma schools or Cal or so, or you know some of the schools in California and all that. Now um, we know what your offer list looks like. Um, it's one of the best in the country, but. You know, it continues to grow, uh, which obviously pushed back your, your decision day. But before that, where were some schools that were really kind of at the forefront of your mind before these new ones kind of made things a little bit more confusing for you? Well, the three big ones was really TCU, Texas, and Baylor. Uh -huh. You know, all really close to home, you know, family could see me. But I also have some of the schools that are like a little far out that I, could, uh, I can do out of state. You know, just, just not limiting myself to Texas itself and all that. What are some things you, you hope to go see from these out-of-state programs? What kind of intrigues you about, you know, some of the schools that you want to go check out this summer? Just how, just how the coaches are and how the school is itself. Just visiting uh, the school and stuff. Just making sure that I'm comfortable being there and I'm comfortable with playing in the defense and all. Now, uh, I want to ask you about one school, Texas A&M, a school that you want to go visit um, here pretty soon. Um, you know, what, what's your communication level like with, with those guys right now? Uh, my com communication level is, is pretty pretty intense right now. It's going to be really intense. Uh, they recruited me hard because, you know, I'm very close to home, always trying to get me down there, always talking to me, always hitting me up, uh, making me a priority. When's it look like you may be able to get down to College Station? Have you talked about Friday Night Lights with your parents or maybe yeah, spring game? Somewhere around, I think it's April first, I believe. Yeah, on the first. Yeah. Is that what? What's kind of your percentage level of maybe making to be able to make it down there? Well, like eighty something percent. Okay, great. We appreciate. Uh, go ahead. I, I said I plan on going there. We appreciate the time, man. No problem.